Hey guys, before we dive right into Forge to Fight, there is a Transformers Tactical Arena game coming out. I think it's only going to be for iOS devices, as, since it's only on arcade. Uh, it looks like some sort of Clash Royale type of thing, so let me play some uh, some of this, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it looks interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna try it out. There's no in-app purchases and everything that the from what I've read You'll be able to unlock like all of like the legendary characters and everything like completely for free just by progressing in the game. So It looks interesting. I think I'll give it a try And just some screenshots you have Optimus, there's Windblade, Starscream, Jazz, Soundwave yeah, I don't know. Just thought, uh, you know, a little something different. Definitely keep uh, Forge to Fight. I mean, Forge to Fight. Keep Transformers on the channel. So I'll give it a try whenever it comes out. There's no official, like, release date yet. So I'll let you guys know. But anyways, Forge to Fight. We have Tail as Old as Time. We're going to jump into Prime Difficulty. Um, let me just clear out all of this. I don't like seeing where it says, like, new, new, new. <laughs> And then bots of the month, we have Hot Rod, Galvatron, and MV1. So anyone who is uh, big on that MV1 Prime, go ahead and pick him up. He's uh, pretty good for a brawler, so. Yep, it's going to dive right in. A little scared with Cheetor. I actually kind of forgot that there was going to be a new spotlight today <laughs> until earlier when I saw the announcement on Discord. I was like, oh, shoot, I almost forgot about it. Got to make a video. All right, let's see. So with a swing and a smash, we're out of the dead universe, back home, and return to our t own timeline, totally safe and sound. Wheeljack, Jetfire, you are lost somewhere in a distant future. Readings are showing intense danger to you and the fabric of reality itself. Do you ever tire of being wrong, Wheeljack? To be wrong, I would have to assume everyone else is actually correct, which I don't. It's all a matter of perspective. Well, the perspective is, is you followed joint temporal readings from Rhinox and the Golden Disk and ended up centuries past your future. The misalignment of events could trigger a few unexpected and undesired ripples. Why am I this for for a covered monster? Who are you? You weren't a kitty cat before we showed up. Well, hello, ripple number one. Hey, 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 that it's always Jetfire and <laughs> Wheeljack, man. It's always these two freaking timeline issue, storyline, spotlights, story thing that they have. Uh, all right. Well, another one, I guess. Let's see. What is Shockwave on? All the spooky mods should be gone, so no more Halloween mods. This year, it was a little bit lame since every single mission had the same exact mod so i don't know i mean it made the fights a little bit easier since that was all that the bots actually had it was only like the main bosses that had those extra mods so i don't know if kabam probably ended up messing up on on that part but oh speaking of messing up we eat a heavy we are power locked but there we go shockwave is down go ahead and continue on we have let's see yeah, keep going right, Shrekticon, and then we have Drift. So, yeah. <laughs> I was looking around, guys, to see if there was, like, a Transformers game coming out. And so that was the only one that I saw that's coming out recently, like, for... Or that's coming out soon for iOS. And, again, there was no mention of it on Android, which kind of sucks, but it's going to be on the arcade. I've never used arcade. I've never actually checked out any games on Apple Arcade, so... Hopefully it's good. I get like three months for free, I think, for trying it for the first time. So we'll be able to play that Transformers game for quite a bit. And if it's pretty good, who knows, we might stick to it. It's real, like, PvP. So real-time PV PvP is basically exactly like Clash Royale. So hopefully the player base is, uh, is big, you know? I mean, it would suck to be facing, like, the same players over and over again, or just going up against bots, because then that gets a little bit, you know, repetitive. So we'll see how that game turns out, but, I mean, it looks fun. I just honestly wish Kabam would switch their focus to this game and, you know, all the resources that they've put into... Uh, what's that other game called? The Realm of Champions, which I don't know if it's doing that well or not. 
the last time I checked, they still haven't released another character. The last one that they did was Thor back in like April or May, so it's been a couple months and they've only released one new character this year, which I don't know, doesn't sound too good. And also Feature Revolution as well, kind of doing the same thing, not really releasing new characters, magic, you know, we haven't seen her. Game was a soft launch at the end of June, so come December it'll be half a year and no no new characters. So hopefully hopefully things pick up, man, because I don't know. I'm really honestly getting kind of burnt out of Future Revolution. There's going to be an Eternals event coming out, but I don't really expect too much out of it. It's going to be the same thing as this, as the Thanos one that they have. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what games we end up playing or maybe switching to on this channel. If anyone does have recommendations, please let me know. I did try out Earth Wars again. I downloaded it this weekend and I don't know. I just don't like it. The whole uh, clash of clans, build your base, uh, set up defenses, go and attack players. I don't know. I just I didn't get into it. So that, that one's going to be a no for me. And as far as like PC games, um, there was one that was supposed to be being created by like certain affinity. And then everything just went kind of, you know, radio silence. So I don't even think they're making anything there. <clears throat> but uh, High Moon Studios should definitely come back and uh, <laughs> make another Transformers game. Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron. Honestly, some of the best games I've ever played. I wish, I wish, I wish. Um, I don't think the same studio company did uh, uh, the one that was after that, which is Rise of the Dark Spark, which I bought for $60 and I completely regret. I don't even think I ever finished the story because I didn't. I did not like that game at all. Uh, but anyways, um, let's see. Explain who you are and what the heck it is I've turned into before I make use of these new claws. We are temporarily misaligned ancestors who have triggered an alternative mode for you from a collective spark memory. I caught none of that. We time jumped and made stuff go off screwy and our time radiation made you turn into a big old cat like you were when we first met you. Right. Well, whatever it is you're doing, you're fixing it and I'm taking you to explain things to Optimus while you're fixing it. No, we should limit our proximity to others or we might continue to be the catalyst for future anomalies. We can't get arrested because we may keep committing crimes. That's basically what you just said to me. I luckily have a very cunning plan for this commander. Swat the cat as we make a break for it. Okay. <laughs> uh, stagger, crit rate, Cheetor has always been a pain, but he's pretty low... Uh, low power rating this Cheetor, so I shouldn't expect any difficulties from this one, especially since we're using Drift. So it should be pretty clean win here. And there we go, we got the perfect. Nice. And up next, let's see, what do we have? Okay, we just have to lay low and not attract attention. Hey, right not. <laughs> Got us here. Maybe we can get us back. Maybe he, he can get us back. His name is Rhinox. He's a humble but talented engineer and a calm, thoughtful bot. You should take some lessons from that. What in the name of Vector Sigma happened to me? What is going on? I can feel I can really feel the waves of serenity coming off his calm and thoughtful screams of confusion. Rhinox, I need you to collect yourself. We are from an augmented timeline and effects of that have altered you slightly slightly i'm living large here as some sort of bloated unicorn and you're mumbling about time travel well time travel dead universe transport some sort of golden disc we apparent was apparently involved and the golden disc is from you the disc of predacons the disc the predacons are after you best talk fast because my temper seems to have gotten short all right, we are up against Rhinox. We probably should have brought B to be able to clear the, the, the uh, his shields, but it's okay. He's only uh, he's he shouldn't be too bad. 
heavy attack stun on this wind blade, so it should be pretty easy to get through. Yeah, that's the hardest path, so we'll go down that path. <clears throat> I think one of these days, guys, I might like go back on my on my channel and do like a what could have been with Forge to fight and revisit the video that um, not the video, but yeah, the video I made where um, Otriex. I don't know if you guys know him from Twitter. Uh, he would like data mine like a lot of info and he would send me a ton of info for Forge to fight and then I got that big uh, that big data data mine from him where it had upcoming like characters and events the Sharkticons were supposed to change to I think uh, Insecticons or something like that. I don't remember insectoids. I don't remember what it was and We were supposed to have like some sort of event with Unicron which we almost kind of thought we were getting when they ha when they were actually like releasing wallpapers every couple of months they had like uh but it was just for like the 35th anniversary for transformers they did um for the movie they did like a poster everyone was like in the in the pose fighting uh unicron but sadly nothing ever came of that but could you imagine like where this game could uh, could be if they had like so many characters, you know, Transformers, Beast Wars, Megatron, Slip, um, Slipstreams, just, you know, it's endless. The possibilities that they could have done with this game is pretty much endless, but we're about to eat a special three. But sadly, they did not. And we will probably never know why this game died the way it did. Or, yeah. I would, I would. I would pretty much say it's dead at this point. We're playing a dead game, boys. I don't know why. We're just doing it for the story, for the memes, I guess. Uh, hey, we got Mix Daddy up to rank 6, so it's not all that bad, I guess. Rank 6, fully forged. You know, 100 sig. I, no, he's not 100 sig. No, I take that back. But he is my profile pick, which was what we were going for. What they should have done was like MCOC 2.0 with this sort of fighting. I would totally, you know, be all over that game, but that never happened either. Uh, nor will it, but okay. We have Thundercracker. Sorry guys, I've been going off on rants for like 12 minutes, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's see, all right. Cyclonus against Thundercracker. Right, and there we go. Nope, survived with one HP, but there we go. He is down. Up next, we have Waspinator as the mini boss. Let's see what he's on real quick before we go into the fight. I'm gonna go ahead and assume like a ranged mod. How did I know? <laughs> Reflex range attacks, okay. All right, should be, should be a piece of cake. We'll give it to Drift. Ow. Come on, bleeds. He's too easy, man, to fight against. Ah, I mistimed that one. And there we go, Waspinator is down. Next we have Prowl, and then that should be it. Then we'll fight Rhinox, and then on to the third mission. I mean, so far the mods haven't been too bad on this one. They've been pretty, pretty tame. And I think at the end we fight Primal, so he shouldn't be too bad either. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a piece of cake. See if we can still avoid the. Never mind, we killed them too fast. I was gonna say, let's see if we can avoid the special two. 
I still have no idea how I was able to avoid and not get touched by Prowl when I did like a run through again um, in Revenge of the King. Yeah, that one was a crazy fight. Marissa, explain what the golden disc is again if you could. Maximal and Predacon conflict circled around a disc that contained knowledge of future events. It certainly also was sent along a time journey. Well, where in the mangled multiverse is it now? I may have discreetly sent it with Scorponok to ensure the timelines continued as we had experienced. So it's not enough that you're mucking up time, not enough you've trapped me in this lump of a form, not enough to aid the Predacons. You left the fate of time and reality in the hands of Scorponok? I'm fearing about all this for the first time as well, and I'm also shocked. So we'll be headed back home to deal with it, yes? You ain't messing this you ain't messing up this bad and walking away. You're staying to fix it or you're staying to fix yourselves after I scrap ya. Alright guys. Let's see, Rhinox is on heavy attack stun, enhanced special, and focused repair. So pretty very, very tame mods if I'm being honest. Very easy. Nothing crazy or spectacular, but I guess that all may change when we go up against Primal. Ow. Alright, there we go. Next fight. Uh, actually, before we start this fight, guys, let me quit real quick. I want to change Optimus, because I want to bring G1 Megatron in here. And see if we can use him. So, where are you, Megatron? There you are. So, we'll bring him. Alright, looks like we're going left. What is over here? Heavy block. Alright, so don't heavy attack them. And we'll be fine. <laughs> Hopefully I can remember that. Yeah, otherwise they gain one and a half bars of power and we do not want that. So, we'll play carefully. We'll definitely finish this mission below like 30 minutes, which I'm super, super glad. I took an extra like minute or two <laughs> with that one other uh, Transformers game. We have Soundwave up next. <clears throat> Damn, he's pretty tanky. Oh, I did, uh, I did the thing. <laughs> I did the thing I wasn't going to do. But, nah, we're alright. There we go. Prowl for the win, man. Get those 10 melee melee buffs and, and you're golden. Do a ton of damage. Alright, up next we have Galvatron. We'll probably use Prowl again, just because it's it's just way easier to deal with him. Oh. I don't know why I keep doing that. Alright, we'll hit him with a baby uh, special one. Alright, I think we're gonna save up for a special two here. And there we go, Prowl, man. Just kicking butt. Special twos for the win. Alright, we'll buy one more of these. Uh, 
Let's see. All right, Scorponok is the mini boss, which <laughs> I hope he's not too big of a pain. So yeah, we can deal with everything. Oh wait, probably should not have used this guy, right? Because the heavies will just give him a whole ton of power. Hmm. I messed. I messed up on this one, guys. And there we go, Megatronus as well. Just a uh, super OP bot in the game. <laughs> they really messed up, man, when they released him. It made everything in the game just so, 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 so easy. Power flow, all right. Hate that, but all right, we'll get through it. Switch over to Drift. If he didn't have power flow, I might have ended up using Prowl just to control the power gain from the Venom charges. That way he would never get a Venom charge, but no, it wouldn't have worked out. <laughs> All right, come on, Scorponok. As long as he keeps spamming these specials, man, I am I am happy. I'm scared to dash at him after I after I take him down just because I know I always get caught by his specials. Every single time, man. It never fails. It never fails. Alright. Starscream, we'll use Megatronus again. Dude, this is like record time spotlight. We're like 22 minutes in. It watched the primal fight take me like half an hour to beat. That'd be hilarious. Special one, and then five hit combo should be enough. Yep, there we go. Quick and easy win. Last but not least, Primal. We made it, guys. Optimus, if you can hear me, I advise you to stay away from the location of this transmission. A bit late for that. I came as soon as I was called and then seemed to go a bit wild. Sorry about that, Primal. Apparently, these two caught some sort of nasty bug from Dimension and Time Hopping that our forms are sensitive to. Rhinox, is that you? In the flesh, a lot of pseudo-organic beast flesh, unfortunately. I also recognize Wheeljack and Jetfire, or at least whatever approximation of them these two are attempting to mimic. Now that would make a lot more sense than what they're what then than what they've been selling. You think this is a Predicon trickery? We should take them out. I do not know what it is, but we are going to keep them here until we can get to the bottom of it. And if that takes a fight, well, that's just prime. All right, let's see. What are you on? Heavy block. Okay, Energon shield. I kind of had a feeling. Repair timed, adaptive. All right, so a really, really tanky boy. I'm gonna try to fuse at least one heavy or one uh, just at least one of these things. Wait, no, I shouldn't. <laughs> I really need to wait. That's what I need to do. Actually, I don't even need to fuse any of these, dude. I can just, uh... I can just wing it like this, to be honest. I'll, I'll end up killing him eventually. 
It may take some time, but I don't actually have to fuse anything. I can wait it out. Never mind, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Fortunate thing here is that I can feel my game lagging, so oh man, and the whiff, the whiff, man, the whiff. Why? Everything was going well, man. I can't even fuse any of these. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it, guys. Let's try to kill this freaking primal. Or we'll just die here. Oh my god, I didn't kill him. I guess this is the game we're playing. <laughs> I've been away way too long from this game, guys. I... I, I messed that one up, but uh, we'll see if we can kill him. Hopefully he doesn't like heal like crazy right now. There we go. Thank you, Cyclonus. That was definitely... Yeah, that was an interesting fight. I'm apparently, I guess I'm destined to lose like a bot or two every single spotlight from now on, but uh, that's fine. We'll take it, guys. Uh, we'll take the win. And that is going to be it for this spotlight. Let me see if we have any crystals we can open up. Mm, nope. All right. We'll just uh, keep saving for now. And yeah, we will be back with some more Forge to Fight in 14 days, or if that other Transformers game comes out a little bit sooner, we will definitely be doing some gameplay there. And if you guys want to take a look at my calendar, I've logged in for three days, so <laughs> I'm not going to get those next two, so yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.